Hey guys, hope that you're all doing well and welcome back. If you are new here, then welcome. My name is Chewy and I make EU4 Let's Plays for the most part. Today we are going to be starting a new campaign over here in a kind of this area. <laughs> I don't know what you call it. France, Northern Italy, kind of in these Alps region here in the Alpine region. We're going to be playing as the nation of Savoy. And uh, if you can read the title, we're going to be going to form the Roman Empire, but we're going to be doing it the correct way. The way of the Savoy into the Sardinia Piedmont, into Italy, into the Holy, or not the Holy, but the Roman Empire, rather. And then um, we're going to explore the new mission trees throughout. Um, took a look around and I didn't see any other content creators that were making any Savoy campaigns. So I wanted to make sure that we can fill that void for you guys. So if you're excited to see a little bit of toothpaste action at the Sardinia Piedmont, as well as some interesting new mechanics and uh, mission trees, I ask that you show your support and leave a like. First episode's a big one. If there's a lot of support on the first one, the certain uh, more people will find me and the YouTube algorithm will help them find it. So that's all super appreciated. Also, about 60% of my viewers to my channel are not subscribed. So if you like what you see, subscribe. It's the best way to you know keep track of us because when you ding the bell next to the subscribe button, it'll send you a notification every single time I upload a video uh, if you turn all notifications on. So if you're enjoying a campaign, you really want to keep up on it, that's the best way to do it. It'll tell you every time we upload every day. We have plenty of content and I'm really sure that you could find something you enjoy. Also, we do have a community discord with multiplayers and all that stuff going on. So if you want to check that out, link is in the description below. And as well, I do have a Patreon. If you guys want to support what I do, if you are financially stable and you want to support a creator like myself, Patreon is the best way to do it, and it's linked below. So regardless with all of that, let's get into the uh, Savoy campaign here. All right, guys, let's get into some Savoy. Savoy, I think it's how it's actually pronounced. But uh, yes, we are going to go Savoy, form Sardinia Piedmont, form Italy, Form Imperium Romanum, and it should be fun. Hope you guys are enjoying. Hope you guys are excited, I should say. What am I talking about? So, they have a fully fleshed out unique mission tree, and this is exciting. This is one of the more exciting parts about exploring it. Um, so, if we have the Renaissance, total development of at least 120, and Torino is at least 20. Okay. A unified Piedmont, and we take those two provinces. Oh, nice. So, so if we complete that one, it basically completes this one, which gives us the city of Torino. All right, cool. So let's start off by just taking some crown land, because why not? Um, let's start by uh, doing this. Strong duchies is a very good one. Uh, supremacy over the crown is fine. I don't care. And then uh, right of council. And that will make sure that they are always super loyal. Monopoly, yes. Uh, oversight by the clergy is fine. Um, I suppose that's probably fine with me. Not giving away any crown man. And then the burgers, monopoly is fine. Uh, ship trade power, it's fine. Uh, I don't have any inflation or anything like that. Free enterprise is good. And um, 15 prestige sounds good as well. So they're going to trend up to over to 70. These guys are going to trend up upwards of 70. Let's get some uh, people state opinion. At least 100. That sounds good to me. I would like to ally the boatman, I think. So, France will ally me. This is wonderful. Having a strong ally in France is going to be a big one. We want to check our rivals. England. Switzerland makes sense. I think I want to rival Milan. And then I want to rival... So he's rivaled to the Pope, so let's just go ahead... Well, let's see here. Because if I can, I want to use Venice to beat up on uh, Milan. Because generally you can call him in day one. I also have another merchant. So we're collecting down here. Let's uh, do hostile trading. Because our trade capital is up here. And, um... Let's transfer from there into our capital node. I'm going to hold off on, um... I'm 
And then before the end of the month, get our spy network. I will. I've already rivaled him, so we're gaining 2.3 per month, which is good. Let us nerf these forts here. Build up the force limit, so we can take five more. Very good. And we can also turn our army maintenance down and speed five for a moment. Yes, yeah, so I'll roll Mary Montferrat. Okay, so there is an event early on. Geneva, our vassal, will either say, give us these two provinces, or we'll be disloyal basically forever. That's uh, kind of the gist of it, which is super annoying, but um, it's fine. So, man, we're getting raided. So as far as um, other allies, Genoa seems like a logical choice. I think we can bait him into attacking. Yes, sir. Oh, Royal Mary France. Good relations with France is in our best interest. So we're taking attrition over there, so let's not do that. Kingdom of Italy and the Empire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Venice, and then I'm going to immediately just rival Venice as soon as I take this province. So we need 30 now, because uh, we are in the HRE right now. And if we want to claim within the HRE, it's now 30. Okay, so let's turn our army, army maintenance up. Keep those guys there. Forts are nothing I'm concerned about. Has he allied anybody? Couple of people that I don't care about. OPMs. Very good. Let's get our claim. You got any claims, brother? No. Okay, so let's go one day and see here. Genoa would join, but Venice would not. They have a truce with Milan until December. Oh, well, if that's the case. Did he say he would join if he didn't? Yeah, okay. He would accept if he didn't have a truce with him. So that's fine. Let's just go to the end of the year then. Save up our money a little bit. Provence has been excommunicated. Well, France is going to defend him, so that's not going to happen. Snagging that land down there would be great for us. Let's get a claim over here on Saluzzo as well. He's isolated. Aachen in Switzerland. So, I will ally Pope Man. Let's uh, actually send an indulgence, which will increase his opinion of us by a lot. There we go. Now we finish that. We get more influence because of that. He might even give us a... Uh... Okay, so this is... I kind of want to just do this. Because, as far as I know, this 50% li liberty desire... Yeah, I was going to say 50% liberty desire, and their opinion is negative 100 for the rest of the game. Which is very hard to overcome. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Do I keep my cores? I do. So annexing them is going to be... These are both for free, so... Let's just do that. Did I lose any force limit? I did. I lost one force limit, which is fine. Let's actually take one of the horses. That'll save us some money anyways. And then we all need to turn our army maintenance up because December's almost here. Sorry about this thing. I got uh, upgraded my computer and I have a couple of things keep beeping and I don't really know why. Okay. Let's declare the war. Very good. I called those guys both in. So, well, first of all, let me say, this is all land that I want. Who would still join? Would they both still join? Neither of them would still join. So let's just say I don't care about that. That way Venice can have that, and I don't care about that because he can have that. How are we looking now? Hey, that's beautiful. So that means if they take any of these occupations, they'll give them all to me, which is wonderful. Leroy Jenkins. Let's get a dude. One siege, not bad. 
I'll actually put you up there. How's my king looking? 32. Our air's pretty bad, though. I'm not going to make my king a guy, then. So, as long as we occupy all this stuff... Oh, come on now. I suppose the surrender of Maine, but I'm not going to actually help him. Oh, yeah, he doesn't need me. <laughs> this will be fine. Okay, so Geneva's loyal, which is nice. Um, let's get you up here. We don't want him building more men. And ideally, we would have Venice handling these guys. And have... Genoa working on that. I don't care about him sieging down my vassal. That doesn't actually bother me that much. Let's make sure we're still building spy network on you. Him sieging down my vassal doesn't hurt me. It hurt me directly, so... That's no problem, honestly. Um, very good. So we actually have all the occupations. And Gene Genoa will transfer this to me, more than likely. So this is a mountain, so we do need to be aware of that. Look at this little thing. Is that from the, the, the water, I think? Reflecting funny. Wall breach. Oh, as I click on it. Hallelujah. And the next month we can get our claim on Saluzo so we can uh, pull that guy back. Okay, this has been a really good episode so far. I'm very happy with this opener. We'll see what we can get out of this peace deal, but um, I'm optimistic. So, as far as things that we should be doing, I'm in a war with him right now. He's my ally in the war. He still has no real allies. He's got Switzerland, which could be problematic, but maybe not. We'll see. So 14%. The issue is, is like, I'm not going to be able to go to get him off that. Like, I, there's nothing I'll be able to do about that. Maybe I can even just give him Mantua rather than actually giving him land from Milan. Disease outbreak. Classic. The classic. So they're up to 49. I was ahead of them, remember. This is mountains, but... Come on now. Their capital's gonna go soon as well. They're just kind of standing there, which is good. Let's see here. Trent is not gonna want out. This Brigens? Bregens? 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 I don't know how to pronounce any German stuff. Sorry, friends. Let's see if we're ever going to win this. So the fact that he's just standing there is really good. <laughs> it's buying us a lot of time. Geneva's going to come up here and get stack wiped. 28%. Come on now. Yep, you got stack wiped. Rip. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's come up here and make sure we're not going to get attacked. No, no attrition if I can avoid it. Alright, Munferat, you don't need to do that. You don't need to be a hero. Alright, cool. So, he doesn't want it. Damn. Okay, so Genoa is going to have to get that. Um, oh, Venice wouldn't actually be mad. I don't have to give Venice anything. Oh. Well, that's wonderful. Can I take two provinces? <gasps> I can. What about three? It's only 50 for... Okay. I think I can avoid this, actually. We'll have a truce with Mantua. Luca Milan will have a truce with them. Let's improve relations with Ferrara. I think we can do this. And then let's improve with... That'd be great, because that's another mountain fort that we could get. Um, Luca. If we can improve relations with these guys until the end of the year. So let's, um, let's do some, some looting. Morale of armies until justice to the anti-pope? No, 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 no. No anti-pope for me. This is great. And then what we'll do is at the end of the year, right before the early tick, we'll peace out and we'll take everything we want to. Should work just fine. Hopefully they win that. No, probably not. 14%. Okay. So I guess man too I can piece out separately. I'll just have him 21 ducats, sounds good. Send him to Rome. There we 
go. Start working on that. Coalition, Sienna. Sienna's a maybe. Luca and Ferrara, we can get out of it. And like I said, we'll do it on the yearly tick. It would be great if they would win that siege. So we're going to do it right before the end of the year. Win it, win it, win it. Nah, they didn't win it. Okay, so 28th. For those of you who don't know, your aggressive expansion ticks down at the yearly tick. So it's just going to be Siena, Mantua, Florence, and Ansbach. I have France as an ally. It wouldn't fire. Um, and then some money for a good measure. So that's a really good conquest for us. He's going to be pretty upset about it. Um, he's really upset about it. On Spock? Not too bad. And then the yearly tick. So now, now when you take a look around, they're all at 47. Except for a couple of people. Like Onspock's at, oh, Onspock's at 47 as well. So he's pretty high. He's at 53. 53. But they will not join as long as they have a positive opinion of you. So... Let's improve relations for a few months just to make sure that we're safe. Oh, I forgot to announce Milan as my rival. That's a misplay. That is a misplay. Whoopsies. Okay, and now I'm just going to turn right around at the end of this month. That way... Oh, right. I need to cord that up. Derp. Um, I'm not going to raise the autonomy. Because this is really high dev, and I want to state it all up eventually. It's all in the same state, which is good. So, let's pull you guys both back. How is my force limit? So our force limit's good. Let's pull you guys over here into Monferrat, and then turn maintenance down, and then turn that fort down. I'm going to let these guys hold on for a little bit to tick down a little bit of... Uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Devastation. Let us... Well, all right, we're at war. We have 25% chance of catching the Curia, which is pretty good. Just need to keep an eye on this. Only 10,000 rebels is not bad at all. So, who are my rivals? Let's say you suck and I hate you a lot. No map can be a work of art as long as your nation is on it. That's a fact. And who else am I rival to? Oh, I am rival to Milan. Okay, we're good. Thought I had small PP pee -pee because I forgot to um, befriend him. So, to improve relations with a couple of people, make sure that we're, you know, playing the strong diplomatic game. The House of De Avis wins the War of the Roses. Interesting. And as we end up coring this, we'll be able to full core it, which is going to cost us even more admin. Speaking of, let's take that tech. Um, let's switch to mill, because mill is going to be a weak one for a long time. Assuming our air stays alive and does not commit not alive anymore. So unhalt has... Bohemia. How do you feel about me? Ooh, Bohemia would be a nice strong ally. I could just try to... Nah, they're rivaled, so that wouldn't work. Maybe I could rival... Yeah, I want to rival Venice. They make sense, the rival. Burgundy declared war on Liege. I don't care about that. Sounds good. He just attacked into the Empire, which doesn't seem right. Did he get the PU? No, he did not. Oh, he's just co-belligerented. Yeah. Okay, so we got all that done. Very good. Let's uh, state it all up and core it all permanently. And as the autonomy ticks down, which should go down over time, right? 
Well, it just went down a bit as well. Uh, we can lose a little bit of money. That's no big deal. So our state is now profitable. Oh, now it's very profitable. Oh, it's going down quite a bit. Okay. We're going to end up having the rebels, so... Let's just turn our maintenance up. So where's the highest dev? 10, 9, 16. So they're going to pop in Pavia. The Renaissance is here. Very good. Suppress rebels. So they actually might not even fire. We'll see. Um, let's just turn that fort off. I'm assuming they're not coming. Yeah, we might be able to actually just avoid that uprising altogether, which would be cool. Um, I'd rather not make Aragon mad, since I'm trying to befriend them. Let's befriend them. Let's um, get our opinion with Geneva and Montferrat up as well. We want to annex them at the same time if I can. Which will be in a few years. Not too far off. Aragon wants an alliance offer. Oh, I royal married him. Yes, I will royal. I will be your friend. So these guys are at war. Okay. If I can get away with getting to war without them joining, that would be great. Geneva is a march? Give me a break. Really? Geneva is a march. Okay, well, so much for um, annexing them. I'd like to pass an admin reform sometime, but we'll see. I have call for peace in a war I have nothing to do with. That's always my favorite. Let me out of the war, man. I love when I get call for peace for things, for wars that I have nothing to do with. There we go. Revoke the march, lose a stab, turn around, buy a stab, turn around, rival Venice. That'll break our alliance. That'll make Pope Man like me more. That'll free up an alliance slot. Let's send it over and ally Bohemia. Genoese conquest of Moria. Okay, so the Ottomans have taken Constantinople. The uh, Lithuanian, Com Polish Lithuanian Commonwealth is a thing. These guys are getting eaten, and these guys are getting occupied. Let's say, um, I lose the money. I'm definitely not losing another stab. So, at the end of the year, if they don't fire, they might not. Florence has left our coalition. Very good. I'll take that points. So, let's see here. Yes, sir. Please give me those mill, mill benefits. So, these guys are still in the war. I'm curious how devastated they are. Milan is no longer a valid rival. It's rival Burgundy. And we can do a couple of these guys here. Uh, let's pull you back. Embargo him, which is going to give us a couple of PP. I can't embargo him because we have a truce. Who else am I rival to? Switzerland? I'll embargo you. And then let's see here. Would Switzerland join you? Genoa and Luca would as well. And did he join a trade league? Yeah, he did. Hmm. Okay, let's see how close we are to... Uh... So I need to take that for this mission. Our total development is pretty good. Once we take these two provinces, that's another 24. That'll put us... Yep, that's exactly what we need, actually. 24, uh, which will give us that. And then this development needs to be 20. So once we take these two provinces, that will actually give it to us. So... France has some debt. Aragon wouldn't join. Genoa's allied. Pope Man would if he had owed me favors. He will soon. Maybe we can make it work. We'll see. So the New Year's here. Ay, ay, ay. It's so close. 
I don't want to just let it happen. Excommunicated ruler. France would still help him, though. As long as France is willing to help him, it's not going to happen. But if France goes a little more in debt, he probably wouldn't help him. It's hard to say. So, let's uh, scootage you, just in case I declare a war. And let's have you guys siege. There we go. Beat up on those rebels. Switzerland. Hmm. Ah, that's pretty annoying. I don't want to do that. Sorry about that beeping. I don't know what that is, friends. Upgraded my PC and I've had a couple of sounds that I can't really explain. So we'll be able to annex him in January, next month. There we go. Gonna take us a little bit of time, no big deal. Make sure our friends like us a lot. Let's improve relations with you. Actually, I want to improve relations with these guys first. Because if we can get if we can nail this friendship, we want to. If we royal marry him, he'll ally us, so well because otherwise we'll get a negative three diplo rep. When we're done with this war. Uh, when we're done with this annexation, I should say. And that will actually make it so he will not want to ally me. Or it'll give him more reasons to not want to, rather. We're hardly making any money from trade, so I don't care. There we go. Pull you back. Royal Mary, there we go. We got a friend in Bohemia. Very good. So strength in numbers... Relative army strength ratio compared to Savoy is at least 1.5. So I need to have him have an opinion of 150 of me. Hungary's opinion of me. Have a fleet equal or larger. Okay, so that gives me morale of navies. That's not super helpful. And then... Um, prestige and clergy loyalty. Brescia, base tax of 5. Where's Brescia? Here it is. It's grassland, so couple of admin it's worth it plus it you know gives us extra money more money is good money right i'm going to build up to our force limit here um let's come on over here yes free money and what is our force limit 18 so let's build up to that let's drill and there we go we can drill and we're gaining money that's wonderful all right, friends, I will definitely say that that was a good first episode. Now, the next thing is going to be getting these guys to love me, which I think we can get them up to 150, which will give us our first mission. Then all we need to do is finish this annexation and then take Saluzo, which I think we can do. I mean, if anything, it gives us an excuse to break our alliance with Genoa because we're going to end up needing this. I believe we get... Conquer Genoa right here, yeah. So we're going to end up needing that anyway, so get why, why not get prepared for it, right? So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Show your support and leave a like if you are enjoying it. The first episode is the big one, so if um, you want to support the channel, leaving a like on the videos is the best way to do it. If you haven't already, a lot of my video viewers are not subscribers, so if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of this and keep track of the channel, as well as this campaign in particular, um, subscribe. And when you subscribe, you can ding the bell, and if you click all notifications, It'll send you a notification every time I upload a video. So if you really want to keep track of a series, watch it when it comes out. That's the best way to do it. Um, also, we have a Discord with multiplayers going on as well as just, you know, a fun community to hang out and chat with. So if you need some friends online, we got you covered. Links are in the description for that below as well as my Patreon. If you uh, really do want to support me and you have it within your means, all of that is super appreciated. Patreon is huge and uh, really does keep... Keep the juices flowing for um, content creators. So I appreciate that very much. Link is in the description for Patreon below. And uh, with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. On the left and right are a couple of playlists that you guys might like to check out. And a big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon for the month of June. Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Orbit Gaming, Kenneth Wynn, Agent Rhino, Callus Cassowary, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, and Airborne Animal 7. I appreciate you guys.